and those who have the capacity to do things. Not to allow any of it. Not to allow any of it to go forward. None of it. Not the amendments, not even the act. There are this thing ought to be written over. It ought to be repealed. An agitated and outspoken social commentator, Raymond Gaskin, speaking there at the symposium at the Hotel Tower. Gaskin feels that the anti-money laundering and countering of terrorism bill in its present form is bad news. He said those who drafted and voted for the passage of this legislation should be ashamed of themselves. This thing here is bad news. I'm glad the members of parliament are here today. This thing is bad news. I say that before I start telling you why it's bad, but it's real bad. And hope they just don't open the amendments. These are the proposed amendments to this thing. You got to go back to this thing. This thing is bad news. Gaskin was adamant that politicians cannot enforce the law. He mentioned the power given to the finance minister and the head of the Central Intelligence Unit under the Act. The director of the FIU is appointed by the Minister of Finance. He sits in the Ministry of Finance. He could only be removed by the way. He's a political man. Politicians involved here against law enforcement can be. Our system doesn't allow it. In this country, police and DPP, politicians cannot enforce no law in this country. And the day we start allowing that, we in big trouble that politicians could enforce law. Can't. And the Attorney General telling the Minister of Finance to put your name on that list. By what authority? The Attorney General in this country, Article 112 of the Constitution, said that he shall be the principal legal advisor to the government of Guyana. Nothing else. Not to practice anybody. Since when he gets involved in law enforcement? Since when? Economist and Professor Clive Thomas also spoke at the symposium and he alluded to the many avenues that are being used to loan the money. Thank you. I think that what we have here is a situation in which you provide the value for excessive needs of the year. The criminalization of the state is clearly becoming a principle of the legal for the accumulation of wealth that we have to control the state. But it's a bad network involved in David Granger, opposition leader, said his party is in no rush to amend the legislation. We will assure that as long as it takes, we give it to any people. A good act that is enforceable, and we will make sure that the financial intelligence unit and all of the other problems that were raised by both Professor Thomas and Mr. Gaskin are adequately done. We have not already passed anything. We are not already anything. The government is under pressure from the Caribbean Action Task Force to come up with the necessary amendments to the Anti-Money Laundering and Countering of Terrorism Act of 2009, which must be in conformity with international standards. The Anti-Money Laundering Act was passed in 2009. Reporting for Capital News, Royce and Drakes.